Hey, it's uh, Tow Truck Ninjas. Um, rah, we're up early, and um, today we're uh, we're going up into the projects. Uh, you know, I got to keep it quick up in here because uh, it's dangerous. And um, what we're gonna do is like every, uh, every Wednesday, you know, they do trash collection, and uh, you know, got all these signs say, you know, do not park on this street on Wednesdays. You will be towed. And, um, you know, so people are still like, hey, you know, I'm just gonna leave my car here and just block all the garbage trucks. So that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get something, get in, get out, we'll see what we get, and that's what it is. So let's do it. Well, it's kind of crazy nobody's around here this morning. So, you know, let's take a look at the hood. I mean, you see what it is, dude. You know, you see like, no parking on Wednesday only. And it's like, boom, here's your car. It's Wednesday. And uh, so this is going to be pretty easy. It's a hook and book. You know, someone's been sleeping in this thing. But yeah, let's get them. Get them out. Get them out so, you know, people can collect the trash and whatnot. That's pretty important. Dude, front wheel drive, hook and book. Bro, what'd that take? Like 60 seconds per hour. Chad here with Tow Truck Ninjas. We are back in the hood because Housing Authority wants us to grab a couple more. So we're gonna see what's going on and uh, get some cars and that's what's up.
right, I'll be, I'll, uh, I'm out of here. I'll be back in, I'd say about 20 minutes. Okay, I'll be here. Thank you, ma'am. We got it. So uh, yeah, we got a couple more to come back and score up here out of the projects. And uh, you know, like I'm saying, like this area has like literally some of the highest crime rate in our city. Um, you know, there's a lot of a lot of drug dealing, a lot of murders. Like literal drive-bys and whatnot and like you know i'm not making that up um and that's why it's one of the reasons i like working here is that a lot of people won't a lot of tow truck drivers they don't want this job but me i'm like you know we got to regulate and it's like uh you know people on housing authority and whatnot here like they're they're really 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 good people um it's really solid really strong people and and they got my back you know and that's that's what matters you know that's like if they didn't have my back i would see this a lot differently but they really do and you know people like me for doing this work like the housing authority the bus drivers and whatnot you know getting the school buses through people just trying to make stuff happen it's like you know a lot of people just, just want to sell drugs dude that's what it is uh yeah so let's go get another one Alright, we're back in the hood and the beautiful thing is I got this Chrysler last week too. Yeah, right, I know. Five hundred dollars in two weeks. Awesome.
Yeah, man. Third one, third one out of the projects today. That's great. That's some good money. Um, but uh, yeah, like I was saying before, like you know, a lot of drivers. There's been you know drivers before me who have had this route, and they just do not want to do it. They're just like, I'm not doing that. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to projects, you know. And uh, yeah, then put another guy. He'd come up here, but he'd just be like. So you get out here in the morning and whatnot, people are like, oh, here comes the tow truck, the tow truck, they're towing the cars, they're towing the cars, they're towing the cars, they start running around to everybody, move your car, move your car, move your car. And as I would just be like, just jump right in the middle of that, be like, yeah, dude, I'm towing that car, I'm out of here, just try to get them, all right, whatever, I'm gone. And uh, other people would just be like, all right, well, I'm gonna wait around until you move your stuff. It's like, I ain't, I'm here to get paid. And there's been a couple times, like, I've had to have cops up here, you know, because I ain't letting go of the car. And there's one time, like, you know, I had like four cops and, and you know, housing and housing's management. And housing's management straight up told the police, and she's like, she's like, no, he is taking this car, you know. And it's crazy because, like, I'm like hooked into the car, and, and people was like, you know, so there's nothing I can do. I'm trapped, I'm locked in. If you were like beating on a truck and whatnot, swearing at me, and I'll call the police, and, and uh, they're like, sir, you know. They're like, where are you? And I, I told them my location. They're like, sir, you got to get out of there. You know, that's, that's dangerous up there. I said, yeah, I know. And yeah, it's all cold and raining outside and whatnot. And they're like, sir, you know, you, you've got to get out of there right now. You know, there's a there's a really good chance you could get killed. And I was like, yeah, I know. There's just nothing I can do about it. You know, it was just, it was funny. <laughs> it was like a meme, you know. And uh, I was gonna have dinner with a friend of mine that night. And, you know, I'd be like, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. <laughs> but I did, I went to a sushi restaurant. It was awesome. And now I'm in there and I'm towing more cars and I'm getting more money and I'm coming back and I'm getting another car and that's what's up. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, it looks like today is like projects day or something like that I don't I don't even know like every day's a hood day what's up you know what I'm saying <laughs> um, so we're going back up uh, to some other housing projects that we work for and this place used to be really bad but they tore it all down and rebuilt it so they're trying to make it really good and you know the housing authority up here they're just you know they're staying on top of it and it's, it's good people working up here you know I know some of these people the management the maintenance and um yeah, so we got a BMW uh, SUV that's been sitting in the middle of the road like all day long, like blocking the road for the whole morning with the horn going off. So we're just gonna go check this out and um, go impound something nice in the in the projects. Let's get it. <sighs>
Yeah, it's just like they said. We got, uh, let's check it out. Let's check it out. We're gonna get all our photos and whatnot here. Um, yeah. See, this truck's just like, I mean, look at this dude. This is like a really nice, this is a nice X5, you know? And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just sitting here, like literally just sitting here in the middle of the street. And it's been here all morning. So yeah, isn't that, that's pretty crazy, right? Let's get it. All right, well this guy, whatever, now he's trying to pay me to move it or something like that. Like no matter what, I'm getting paid. But we'll just even see what housing authority says. And if he can't turn this alarm off, like get it, dude, you know? Because you can't just like be living here in apartments like, oh, my neighbor's car alarm was going off. I was like, sir, you know, he's like, oh, what, what did you do to it? Why did you make the alarm start going off? And I'm like, bro, your alarm's been going off since 8 a.m. Come here a second. Okay, so the guy just showed up who owns the vehicle and whatnot. Yeah. And he's telling me that like, He's telling me the alarm has not been going off since 8 a.m. and that he can shut it off. And uh -huh. I think this sounds like nonsense. Get up out of here, bro. Yeah, bro. That's All right. Here since 8 o'clock this morning. Bro, you're right. He, I was like, I was like, well, that's he's a, goes. That's a, that's he's, a fire, uh, the fire truck had to come through here. Exactly. Yeah. All and right. he's like, he goes, well, I just went to get something to drink. And I'm like, I'll bet you did. Talk up the deuces. Bro, anytime, man. I got you back, sir. You can't ride luxury if you can't afford it now. Thank you, sir. I appreciate everything, man. Well, Housing Authority has the final word, and Elvis is leaving the building. Because that guy ain't got no way to turn off this alarm. None of that stuff, dude. It just, just you know. He left it in the middle of the road. He's like, oh, I'll take it and park it somewhere. And I'll, you know, I'll turn off the alarm. It's like, bro, you've had the alarm going for four hours. So, housing authority said tow it, and I'm towing it, and that's what's up. So, uh, while we're out here, this is our little uh, hood collection for the day. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so we got, we got the, uh, well, we started with this one, the, um, the beautiful, uh, what is this? I think it's Port Taurus, and then we got the Dodge Durango, and then we got the Chrysler 300, and um, then and then we, we only missed one of them, so honestly, we got four out of five. It's pretty good. Uh, last one is this BMW, and uh, you know, just a little recap here. Like, I mean, this guy's all like, blah, 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 and I'm like, sir, you know, you left your car like blocking an entire road for four hours, almost five hours with the alarm going off. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. You did that. You set off the alarm. No, no, I didn't, dude. Like, you know, he's all like, oh, I just left because I was I was going to get something to drink. I'm like, yeah, I'll bet you were getting something to drink, you know. I mean, I, I could have towed it somewhere for him or whatnot. And, you know, housing authority was like, nah, get this off the property. We want it impounded down. I'm like, all right. You know, it's, it's housing authority. Um, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to try to go back up into the hood and get another one. So I'll let you know. Ha, 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 ha.